What's up guys? Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Today's going to be just a really quick demo on how to measure the DC amperage pull from your amplifier. Stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it. Alright guys, real quick, what we have set up here is a Soundstream D102 amplifier. We have a test speaker, a small battery, and the iPod Nano. And to measure the DC amperage, we have a Klein Tools CL2000. So, how to measure the DC amperage from your clamp meter is this is specific to this model, all of the settings, because it might be a little different for yours. You'll have to look at your manual. But for the Klein CL2000, turn the switch all the way up to the A at the top. And what it does by default is it puts it in AC current. What we want to do is press select one time until it beeps. And if you see the solid line with a dotted line under it on APO, that means that we're set in DC, which is where we want to be. Now you notice 0.66 amps. What's up with that? Well, you have to zero it out. So this button here that says Hertz Duty, hold it down, zeroes it out, clamp around your positive wire only. Make sure you're not clamping around the positive and the negative or it will not work. And as you can see, we're showing about 0.24 amps of current at idle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the amplifier, its volume, and we'll see what happens to the pull. As you can see from this particular amplifier, we're pulling about 1.5 amps and the D102 will pull more than that at full volume. I just don't have uh, the inputs adjusted correctly for the iPod. But anyway, it was just a quick tutorial showing you how to test the DC amperage from your car audio amplifier. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm out of here.